Okay. All right. Just had an excited phone call from Adam. He had a dream last night. Where it's, is he? He's in Poland. Adam is in Poland, if you don't already know. He's been there for some time with his beloved wife. <laughs> okay, in the dream last night, he said he was on his way somewhere when he comes across a group of children who are playing. And in the dream, he said the, uh, the, the clouds parted and he saw two planets side by side. And he's saying to the children in the dream, you see, it wasn't all about the 21st of December. He said, everything's happening after the 11th of January. So he phoned because he was out on his way. You can hear that he's walking. And of course, it's been snowing in Poland. So when I phone him back, now what is odd is that he phones and then I phone him back. So when I phoned back, the voice, because I use a calling card, the voice told me that I had 2,091 minutes. So I said to Brian, remember that, this is impossible. So I know the angels are messing around, 2,091, and of course the call goes nowhere. So we look up the number, 2,091, and this is what it means. In Greek it means preparation. And then in Hebrew, it means to shimmer gold, figuratively, something gold-colored, as oil, a clear sky, golden, fair weather. So that's what the 2091. Now, on the, when I called him back, and the same voice now tells me what is more accurate, is that I have 390 minutes remaining. 390 in Greek is to return by implication, to busy oneself, remain, live, abide, behave self, have conversation, live, overthrow, pass, return, be used. And in, in Hebrew, I, I didn't think it meant too much, but it actually means strength. Strengthen, a fortress. So that's before Adam comes onto the line and then um, he tells of the, what, what has just occurred. He's walking, he's on his way. So now he's awake, he's going somewhere. Right? Yeah, now he's, he's, he's outside and he's on his way going somewhere. And he said children were playing on a sled in the snow. And then he looks up, he said the sun was really, really glary, too, too uh, bright to actually look at the sun, very glary, but he keeps looking up beyond the sun and what he sees, he said, there it was. There was a planet sitting above the sun and just off centre. And I asked him, what colour was it? He says, it's blue, it's actually blue. And then he said, perhaps a little grey, like a blue-grey. But he says, it's the colour that it has been in my dream. And there it was, he was staring at it. It is there, with the children beside him. I could hear them in the background laughing as they're playing on their sled in the snow. So he dreamed it last night. Today he's living it, and that's what he phoned about. All very excited. It is all going down. Now, if we remember the vision of the small boy, just four years old, who came in to tell his father what he drew from his uh, vision. Uh, he drew three angry faces and they were all sons, very angry, and two of them were like the yellow gold, but one was blue. And then the next scene he drew on another page was the rocks from the sky. He, he drew them in a trail coming in, getting closer, and then circled them around the earth and he said these rocks from the sky actually fell on their own house where they were living. So, since Yahweh's birthday, 69th birthday yesterday and the end of the Pyramid Prophecy, 
this is when it all begins. He has to do everything, everything as God in man can do to awaken mankind. He is completely rejected by everybody, including the churches, including academia. The, the whole world rejects him, all governments, all churches. Everybody rejects him. So now comes uh, the sorting and the sifting. It all begins from yesterday. As we um, start, we're going for a trip. Well, we're definitely going for a trip. We're already booked. When, when we come back, it's really unknown to us at this point, mm. or even if we come back. It's all looking like... Uh, it's a very strong opportunity for them to try and kill us on the road. Totally. As he always says, it's a very strong opportunity for them to kill us on the road. <laughs> With a truck. With a truck. Uh, been there, done that. Happened in uh, 1978. In, uh, however, he was taken up into the heavenly realm. So, if we're gone one minute, we'll be back the next because according to this, we live and abide, we return in strength. As I, came, as I keep saying, come back breathing fire. <laughs> Take out our enemies, <laughs> fire from the mouth. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> Okay, there you have it. What does it say about young men will dream dreams and old men will see visions or the other way around? Yeah, one of those. Uh, both of them. Uh, and, and daughters will prophesy. <laughs>